Imagine the Hubble Ultra Deep Field, but 3,400 times larger. What would 3,400 Hubble Deep Fields all stitched together look like? It is what we would see if astronomers used 255 hours of Webb Space Telescope time in multiple wavelengths to look at a patch of sky one half square degrees wide. Welcome to Discoveries of Webb Space Telescope. I'm Tony Darnell, an actual human. This is a 166 million pixel image of an area known as the Cosmos Field, one of the most studied areas of the sky. Every major ground and space-based telescope has looked here at one time or another, with planned observations from future telescopes like Rubens LSST and the Roman Space Telescope. Recently, from January 2023 to January 2024, the Webb Space Telescope made 152 visits here and stared for 255 hours in the various infrared wavelengths it is sensitive to. Why here? The Cosmos field was chosen because it has existing deep data from the Hubble Space Telescope. It boasts the widest range of deep data available from other telescopes across the electromagnetic spectrum from X-ray to radio wavelengths. Its equatorial location in the sky makes it easily accessible for follow-up observations by other major telescopes. And it has extensive spectroscopic data which greatly enhances the accuracy of photometric redshifts. The Cosmos field is massive. It covers a little over one half square degree of sky. Imagine looking up in the sky and seeing three full moons right next to each other. That's roughly the size of the area Cosmos Webb covered. What's special about this area is that it's a single connected patch, unlike other surveys that might hop around the sky. This large contiguous area is much bigger than other deep surveys done with JWST in its first year, roughly 2.7 times larger than all of them combined for the main camera. So why do this? Why use up so much time of the most powerful telescope we've ever built? because doing so allows JWST to look incredibly deep into space. And because light takes time to travel very far back in time. When we look at distant galaxies, we are seeing them as they were billions of years ago, when their light first started on its journey to us. Cosmos Webb was designed to peer into some of the earliest times of the universe's history. Between about 600 million and 1 billion years after the Big Bang, the universe was undergoing a massive change. The gas scattered throughout space was being turned from a neutral, opaque fog into the clear ionized state we see today. Scientists think this change was driven by the very first stars and galaxies. Cosmos Webb's long stare and large area are meant to find thousands of these early galaxies and map where they were located. These observations also look at slightly later times, helping astronomers understand how the biggest galaxies we see today first formed. To do that, we need to find hundreds of rare quiescent galaxies. These are galaxies that are no longer actively forming many stars. Finding galaxies with masses greater than about 10 billion times that of our Sun that also stopped forming stars when the universe was still relatively young is a big challenge for current theories. They must have formed stars incredibly quickly very early on and then suddenly shut down their star production. Because these galaxies are rare, the large area of Cosmos Webb is necessary to find enough of them to study, helping astronomers understand how the most massive galaxies in the universe grew and turned off their star formation. Another fundamental question seeking answers from this survey? How is the visible matter we see in galaxies connected to the invisible stuff called dark matter? It is thought that every galaxy sits inside a large cloud of dark matter called a halo. Understanding the relationship between the mass of stars in a galaxy and the mass of its dark matter halo is key to understanding how galaxies grow and evolve within the larger structure of the universe. The only way to directly measure the mass of these dark matter halos for a large number of galaxies across cosmic time is by using a technique called weak gravitational lensing. 
This is where the gravity from foreground galaxies, including dark matter, slightly distorts the shape of background galaxies. Cosmos Web's wide, continuous view is perfect for making these weak lensing measurements out to redshifts of about 2.5, helping scientists link the dark matter universe to the glowing galaxies that we can see. By staring at this large, continuous patch of sky for 255 hours, looking back billions of years using its powerful infrared eyes, the Cosmos Web Survey is providing a breathtaking view of the universe's history. This vast, unbroken canvas of the cosmos from the Webb Space Telescope with its revolutionary infrared vision has delivered an awe-inspiring journey back billions of years. This extraordinary data set invites scientists and the public alike to embark on a profound exploration from the faint glimmer of the universe's first galaxies to the grand tapestry of cosmic evolution, revealing the intricate dance of visible and dark matter across the ages. Discoveries of Webb Space Telescope is produced by deep astronomy and an actual human being. Consider becoming a member of the oldest astronomy channel on YouTube.